Alright, so today we're going to go over what to do with the tail. The tail is the, the strap that's left over after you secure your load. Good and secure. What do you do with this? Uh, I use three methods. Uh, I'm going to show you all three today. So uh, if, you can't, if you can't get to this point all by yourself, uh, there's not much I can do for you. Uh, this, this should be self-explanatory. Uh, all I did is roll it up. Alright, so method one. We're going to leave a little extra on the tail. I'm going to reach through here. Pull this back through here. And then tuck it up and over. Pull it down. Give it a good snug pull. And that ain't going anywhere. From here you can take this and tuck it down into your side rail on the side of the trailer uh, and it's not going anywhere. It's not coming loose, it's not going to come undone. Uh, it's secure at that point uh, and you don't have tails flapping around, people honking at you, flashing you with the lights. So, uh, that's method one. Method two, bear with me here just for a second and reset this. Method two is my favorite. This is the one I use most of the time. So we're back to the same point. I've got 12 to 18 inches of extra here. Take the, take the loop, squash it down. All I did was just squash it down. I'm gonna pass it under the securement strap. And then this loop here, I'm gonna tuck it back through. And then start twisting. And this is the one I use most of the time. This is the one I always get asked Every time I stop somewhere, convenience store, truck stop, there's always a hot shot guy that says, how do you do that? Uh, when I was stuck in Tijuana for a couple days, uh, the guy next to me got, he got class, he got schooled, he got some classes and uh, gave me a lot of stuff to work with. Not that I have infinite knowledge of all things trucking, but um, he was newer than I am uh, when I talked with him. things. But this method, that strap, that's, that's not going anywhere. That is solid. I'm moving the trailer. Uh, and then we've got one more method. This one is a little more obscure. A lot of people don't know this one. This one's kind of cool. Preset again. Like this. Alright, so this time we're going to roll it all the way down where there's no tail left at all. Okay, let's squash it. Squash it. I'm gonna take this center piece out. I'm gonna flip out. Yeah, two foot maybe. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, tuck it under the under the strap, pull it through, we'll come over, and we'll go under again. I'm gonna do this a couple times, keeping it nice and tight. As I go, up over, up under. And this time, I'm gonna take that, tuck it right through the top of that strap. Okay? Now I'm gonna grab just this top portion of this loop and start pulling back. You see what's happening. As I pull back, that top loop is getting smaller and smaller. And at some point, when you get it pulled tight enough, Oh, fingers in there. That 
pulls back. Nice. Nice and tight. And that's not going anywhere. Um, this one works good if you don't have room to pass the tail under the freight, but you do have a little bit of space here where you can pass a single strap through. Um, so if you've got freight that's uh, nice and tall, where the strap is going straight up and you don't have a lot of room uh, to do anything with your tail, this one works well. All you need is a quarter inch between the strap and the freight to pass this through a couple times and then just pass it through the top loop, lock it in place. That ain't going anywhere. So that's the three methods that I use. Um, uh, if you have any questions or any comments, just uh, comment down below. Uh, if you need me to run through it again, you can watch it in slow-mo. I, I can do whatever you guys need. Just let me know. So let's do one on belly wraps. Uh, this is the traditional belly wrap. 95% of people use. So it goes over the freight, under, back around, and then it secures on this side. Um, this side is always going to be loose. No matter what you do, this side's always going to be loose. Uh, this side will get nice and taut. There's always going to be a little play on this side. Uh, and remember, belly straps does not count towards load security. Uh, so if you've got something that needs uh, three straps because of the weight, and one of them is a belly wrap, that, that, that belly wrap strap is not going to count towards securement. So if a DOT guy pulls you over, he's going he's gonna to hit you up for not having enough securement. So belly wraps do not count towards securement. Remember that. Uh, this is extra just to keep it from moving side to side on the trailer. So that's the traditional. Over, under, back up top, down to the, down to the, uh, the crank on this side. So here's the difference. This one, you get compression and downforce all at the same time. So all I'm gonna do, you see the strap just runs over to the other side of the trailer. I'm gonna take a loop right here on this side. I'm gonna bring it back under and over the top. And I'm gonna let it sit there for a second. All right, so I'll do that again. This strap just runs to the other side of the trailer, not a big deal. I'm gonna take a loop right here Pass it back under and let it sit right here. Some of you can see what I'm doing already. So I'm going to find the other side of my strap, pull it back. I'm going to come under this loop, come through it right here. Basically, I'm just going to slip it. So, what you end up with as you pull this back, start pulling it tight. Now I've got a belly wrap, but this side can get nice and tight. And then run this side down to your, your ratchet. And you've got down force and compression force at the same time. Uh, and this works a little easier if you don't have a lot of room to pass something over and under and you've got to wrap it a couple times with this method. For this one here, uh, it, it's real easy. Uh, just grab a loop, throw it over the top. So even if it's a wide piece of freight, let me pull this back. All right, and I'll jump up on the other side. So if, I, if I'm nice and wide here, I can just grab a loop on that side and drop it down. So if I can't, can't reach here, then I still have the ability to pull the strap again. Get underneath here, feed it through, back and over. Oh. Oh. And that's not going anywhere. And that's the second method of a belly strap that. Uh, you may use. You want to have different techniques for different stuff and always have something in your back pocket you can use later. Um, that's a good method. It gives you a good downforce and compression at the same time.